Fighters trained them, they could become real gladiators. Only one could, the other would die. They are the regent's gladiators, the loser would never be spared. Nobody has pity for his own slave. By the way, Redzius, I heard an owl hooting all last night. You know what that means. You think too much about death, Vivius. We must think of life, it is our only treasure. And we gain it day by day with each battle. Slaves love life, and there's no reason why they should. They work in the mines without aim, often dying from exhaustion. Their only wish is to survive, even if there's no hope for them. What I'm afraid of is that one day you and I may be forced to cross swords in the arena. If this should happen, take my advice. Don't stop loving life. Love it as never before. I would never have the strength to fight against you. If the fates decree that you must, you'll find the strength. Seize the day and don't believe in tomorrow, as Horace said. Who was Horace, a sword man or a net man? Hmm. He was a poet. <laughs> but what do you know about hey! poets, gladiator? <laughs> <laughs> Now it's our turn to entertain them out there. And if I know you all, you'll do your job courageously. I expect only the best from gladiators who have trained in my school. This fight needn't mean the death of any of you. The decision will be made by the Regent Riberius. He's paid to see you fight today, but not to see you die. If he should order a loser put to death, he must pay me an extra charge of 8,000 shekels. But he's known to be a miser. Therefore, it's probable that all of you will come out alive. You will fight first in couples. After that, the winners must fight against each other. Remember to put up a good fight, all of you. Because there's always a danger. If you fight too badly. That Riberius may forget his gold and give you the thumbs down. Therefore, whoever among you are beaten today Go down fighting bravely to avoid the displeasure of Rabirius. If there's no mercy, you must face death like true gladiators. Living's not difficult. To die bravely is an art which I have taught you.
amazed at Riberius inviting me to watch the games today. It's probably Sira's doing. No, it's the regent. He's starting to feel sure of himself. Not too sure of himself, I hope, especially today. Quiet. We are surrounded by spies.
up. I owe you my life. You will be rewarded. I will tell the regent you are here.
You are still a child, Darius, but you are also the king. Our father was a great king. He loved the people as much as they loved him. Ah! Gladiator! What are you doing here at the palace? I have been summoned by Riberius. I thought that your place was in the arena. Come, Darius. Will you come with me? that kind of duel. A stave can often be more deadly than a sword, but one must know the art of using it. I gave you my word in the arena that you'd be rewarded, and I've never broken a promise. Ah! You're burning me, you fool! Get out! As you've seen today, my life is constantly in danger. Yet I'm a man who's envied. <laughs> My personal soldiers are handsomely paid, live in comfortable quarters, and eat like kings. From today on, you're free. I have decided to take you on as one of my bodyguards. With what rank? That of a soldier, naturally. I thank you, but I prefer to remain a gladiator. You prefer the dangers of the arena? Before I became a gladiator, I was used to commanding. When I'm fighting in the arena, I'm not forced to obey anybody's orders. Mm. What's your name? Retzius. Retzius, come here. This is the first time that anyone has had the courage to refuse an offer of mine. But it's a magnificent day and I'm in a good mood. Look here, ours is an untroubled kingdom. The people work peacefully on the farms and in my mines, and the country prospers. But unfortunately, here in these mountains, a band of brigands has been making our lives unbearable. We haven't been able to destroy them. They have their spies everywhere. Perhaps they're even here in this palace. How would you like to eliminate those brigands? All alone? <laughs> I'm impressed by your bravery, but I'm not hoping for any miracles. I'll put at your disposal 200 men. I accept, but I will choose them. Oh. <laughs> and nothing more? Yes. Yes. I also wish you to free my friend Bibius, who is a gladiator. <laughs> the gods are with you, Retzius. Your arrogance has only amused me so far. Tell me about these brigands. Hmm. I must first organize a base for men and supplies near the foot of the mountains. A base in the desert. But if there are spies all over the palace, we can make use of them. Now where do you plan to go, Idas? I haven't made up my mind yet. Where will we go? I'll probably look around for some clients in the provinces. These days it isn't easy to find someone with enough money to pay us. The old style gladiator shows have become too much of a luxury. Everything changes, even people's taste. Christian Rome is changing the world. Yes. Sometimes I feel that men like me don't belong anymore. It's inevitable. People are tired of violence. They want new ideals. But these new ideals may ruin your business. Oh, no, they won't. Business has been good here. And Riberius has paid me generously to set you both free. Farewell, then. <laughs> I'm very sorry to leave you. I've never thought of you as a master, but as a teacher. Remember that. I'll miss you, Ritzis. You are the best of us all. In this world which has learned to fight its battles by turning the other cheek. You are perhaps the last of the gladiators.
Just a minute. Who are you? Venia, the princess's lady in waiting. Oh. Your wounds, how are they? You in the arena? You two are close friends. Yes, but I could use another close friend. Excuse me, I must go now. What did you say your name was? Phibius. Your Highness. I'm getting to like this place. Perhaps because I'm satisfied with a little. I don't aim as high as you do. danger with fortitude is to dominate it. But enemies are not always facing us. They can appear from all sides. We must learn to recognize the sound of the javelin and to know where it's coming from. Vibius, good luck. I'm still too young. Your sister is very fond of you, I'm sure. But she's concerned for your safety. But I'm already 12. And besides, I'm the king. Tell me, is it true that you're going off to fight a war? No, it's only a matter of wiping out a band of brigands. It won't take long. Will you have to go and fight them up in the mountains? I don't know yet. I'm waiting for Riverius' orders. Riverius' orders are sacred to him. The gladiator has become a person of importance. Your Highness, I'm flattered by your contempt. Indifference would be much worse. Indifference does not befit a heroic leader. Soon, not only the kingdom of Acastus, but the whole Roman Empire will be divided into two factions, one for and one against Retius. And which side will you be on? Darius.
How much longer do we have to go on with this wild goose chase? This may be just the right spot. Uh, we found nothing so far. Why don't we head back home? Besides, that little lady in waiting gets lonely huh. without me. I feel sorry for her. Look here. Take your pick. If it's a short one, we go home. The long one, we go on riding. Come on. Satisfied. Riverius will give you your due reward. Sir, I don't understand. Intelligence is not a gift granted to slaves. And you, even if you are under Riverius's protection, are nothing but a slave.
Had the horses? Yes, sir. I don't understand. You, the king's sister, head up a band of brigands. They are not brigands. That's what Merberius called them. And you believed him. A short time ago, Acastus was a name without meaning for you. How could you know that before my father died, this was a happy country? But what has caused this change? Rabirius. For years, he hid his true nature. My father had faith in him, and before he died, entrusted him with the regency. It was his one mistake. Rabirius has been generous to me. He is, to those who can serve him. Rabirius is a tyrant. Since he came to power, the people have suffered nothing but violence, poverty, and misfortune. Men have been enslaved and sent to work in his mines. He has built his wealth on the people's misery. And that is why our finest men have turned against him and taken refuge in the mountains. They needed a leader, and they chose me. Now I understand. But now, a gladiator has destroyed our lost hope. I haven't always been a gladiator. My fate has been similar to yours. My father was also a king. He wanted to send me to Rome to learn the ways of our conquerors. But during the journey to Rome, I was captured and enslaved, then trained for the arena. That is why I am here. Today, I am a soldier, a loyal soldier. And I must obey my orders. But I'd never have believed that one day I'd have such a sad duty to perform. It's much sadder to feel the approach of death. Like me. I'm not a heroine. Only a woman. And so far, I've had nothing from life. Why do you say that? Nobody wants to kill you. Rabirius will kill me now. He would never kill a woman. Rabirius will eliminate anyone who gets in his way. He has no scruples. But I will not allow it. You cannot prevent it. Then I shall not deliver you to him. Listen, leave here and save yourself. You're free. I will not abandon my people. You told me you're a loyal soldier and must do your duty. Well then, I too must do mine. out against Rabirius. Our men should help them. No, it would be just a useless butchery. Somehow we must stop the people. Now we must carefully reconsider our plans and wait for a better opportunity. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
have good reason to exact the death penalty. But you enchant me, Sarah. I couldn't bear to watch you suffering. You're too lovely. I didn't think you were so sensitive. There's also another motive. These big words you use. Justice, liberty, oppressed people. Let's not delude ourselves. There's only one word for this revolt, ambition. Well, I too am ambitious. Why are you telling me all this? It's simple. Let us unite our two ambitions in marriage. You have two choices, to show my throne or to die on the public scaffold. I'm in no hurry. Choose wisely. I have already chosen. Queen, I'll have no opposition. The little king is no obstacle. The goddess of death might easily take him from us if she were given the occasion. With him gone, I shall be the absolute ruler of Acastus. Nor will that be the end. rebels remain in the hills, we can easily eliminate them. Rabirius! You gave me your word. And I've always believed that a man's word is sacred. You promised me you'd be merciful with the prisoners. And so I was. I let them die rapidly. Listen, it's quiet now. Their sufferings are over. If I had fallen into their hands, they would have tortured me so atrociously that I would have embraced death as the greatest of blessings. What's this now? Welcome, my noble Samantheus. I know that I'm not welcome here, but I trust you will hear me out. As you know, I was the chief counselor of the late king for a great many years. People respect me. They have asked me to petition you on their behalf. They appeal to your generosity. My generosity is not a virtue, but a weakness. We know that Sir is in prison and beg for her release. The people hope that you will allow the spirit of forgiveness to enter into your heart. Sir is of royal blood, don't forget. The people love her dearly. The laws of Acastus, which were not of my making, demand but one punishment for those who dare to raise arms against their lawful rulers. Execution. But Sir is little more than a child. And I am generous. You said so yourself. I found another solution. Exile. No. A much happier idea. Marriage to me. Have you spoken of this? To Sira? She'll accept. Rest assured. Come, I'm willing to forget your harsh words. Serve me faithfully, and I can promise you undreamed of reward. I will never be a party to such atrocities. Prisoners burnt alive. Syrah imprisoned. I beg you to free her. 
You're not here to advise me, but to carry out my orders. I can be with you or against you. Watch what you say to me. And you watch what you do. No, not now. They all know he's the best of my guards. That I owe him my life. I can wait. You have forgotten everything I taught you. It's not that, Richard. I don't know what it is. Somehow I feel so strange. Try again. I'm sure this time you hit the bullseye. No, it's no use. Tell me, Richard. But when will my sister come back to Acastus and stay with us? It's funny. But she went away without saying goodbye to me. Did I do something bad? No, nothing at all. Sarah will soon be back, I'm sure. Meantime, I shall stay with you. Aren't you glad? Mm -hmm. Now, be careful how you aim. This year, you too will take part in the games in honor of the goddess. The first of us to arrive at the temple will light the sacred fire. Choose your charioteer. A glorious day, swift horses. Let us hope that the goddess will reward our act of homage. I hope so too, especially for your sake. Red Tears! Will you ride with me in my chariot? It will be an honor for me. You take my chariot and I'll go with the king.
goddess has indeed been good to us. Vibius! Redzius! <laughs> I was right not to give up hope. I was the only one who wouldn't believe that you'd been killed. Are you alone? Yes. How's the boy? Darius is still alive, but he needs help. Berberius tried to have him killed. What can we do? There's no time to lose. I'll join the rebels. I'll go too. No, if you stay in the Castus, they won't suspect anything. Try to contact Samantius. He is one of the chief leaders against Rabirius. Tell him what has happened and try to be of use to him. Samantius lives. But why do you want to go there? It's so dangerous to be a friend of his. I'm no friend of his. Don't even know him. Don't you worry. I have an idea. I learned this trick from you. Long when you go to Samantius, short when you stay with me. Euclante wants to see you. Follow me. accused of. Now that Retzius is dead, your free days are over. You're once more a slave. Away with him. been wiped out. Why do you continue to resist? Why? It will mean your death. I'm only waiting for death. Why say that? Haven't we had enough of death? After your brother being killed with Retzius in that terrible chariot race, must you die, Sarah? You killed him. Darius was the last obstacle between you and the throne. 
You think I'm capable of killing the boy for ambition? And Retius. He was my best soldier. I owe my life to him. Why be unjust to me? You must forget these sorrows. If only you'd agree, you could be happy as my wife. I can wait. At such time as you change your mind, I shall renew my offer. I can be as patient as you, sir. Gods! to see you, sir. Leave us. I thought you'd been killed. Who is this? Why, it's Darius. It was Retius who saved me. You? May the gods be thanked for their mercy in saving our beloved king from this terrible misfortune. He is our only hope. You're tired. Lie down and sleep. It was not an accident, but a deliberate attempt by Riberius. He wanted to get rid of him. I don't understand. You were one of Riberius's men. Yet this crime you accuse him of. I know what you are thinking, but only now do I understand what kind of man he is. The fact that I have brought Darius here should give you confidence in me. I trust you. My friend Vibius is also on our side. In fact, I thought he'd already informed you about Darius. No, he hasn't been here. I've heard nothing. We must take immediate action. Unfortunately, the mountain hideout's been completely destroyed. All the rebels are dead. I was told of it. But there is still hope. If only there were. Show Darius to the people. When they see that their king is still alive, I'm sure they'll rise against Rabirius. But then to show the boys alive, we'd have to think of some excuse to bring the people together. Wait a minute. In a few days, they will have the great ceremonies for the coronation of Verberius. All the people will be gathered outside the palace, if we're prepared. Certainly. It'll be easy to start a revolt. I'll be at your side. But what can we do now? For the moment, you go back and stay with Verberius. We must have someone inside the palace to keep us informed and help Syria if possible. I'll keep the boy well hidden. What is your opinion? Would an object of such worth look well upon the brow of a common man? A crown is enhanced by a brow as brave and astute as yours. Let me pass, will you? What's this? Bretius. I see the gods have chosen to preserve the hero of Acastus. Yes, the gods have been good. They've spared my life to serve you faithfully. Do you hear, Euclante? My faithful servant. May the gods be thanked. How did you manage to survive? I can recall nothing until I found myself on the shore. And what happened to our little Darius? I saw him die before I fell. He was swallowed up by the waves. Strange, you weren't drowned as well. Is that what you wanted? The gods decided otherwise. Have you forgotten that I saved your life? Hmm. I have no more opponents. You were one of those heroes who were valuable during the battle, but bothersome after it's won. Today we are a peaceful country. Soldiers are of no use. People pay their taxes. And if they won't, they have to work in my mind. Ah, that gives me an idea. Yes. You wanted a chance to serve me faithfully, and you'll have it. As a slave in the mines. Seize him.
good rule. Never make use of the same man twice. When his usefulness is over, get rid of him. It's a secret I find works wonders. I could have you killed immediately, but I won't. For this, you will undergo a crueler punishment. Take him away! Uh, uh. Raverius has something even better in store for you. Get moving, gladiator. Wait, dear! Idus! How did you get here? I thought that we were going away. They captured us and threw us in prison. Me and my gladiators. They stripped us of everything and we live here like rats, never seeing the sun. At night they force us to work in the mines with the other slaves. We're beaten and starved. Raverius is a murderer, Ancient! A vicious monster! I'd like to strangle him with my own hands! There's only one hope that can keep us all living! Hope of vengeance! 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 Live for vengeance! Keep moving. Phibius! Rhaetius! Sir Berius got you after all. Uh, 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 uh. It is useless. I'm too valuable to Riberius. He always carries the key of my cell with him. It doesn't matter. I'll find some way to get you out of here. You won't be able to. You are as generous as Darius believed you to be. With his child's wisdom, he immediately saw you for what you were. Poor Darius. Darius is alive. I managed to rescue him and take him to safety. may be able to escape if you go now, but hurry. No, I can't leave you here like this. I know what Rabirius is capable of. I love you, Sarah. Somehow I shall save you. Forgive me. My coldness was only a defense against my true feelings. Oh, Retius. I love you too. But there's no more hope for us. Save yourself. You must live to bring liberty to my people. No. No, I won't leave you, Sarah. I won't let you die. It's no use. Go while you still have time. Save yourself. And forget me. No. Rapsius!
Ratzius. No. You cowards. You were right, Ratzius. Our hearts should be moved by a lover's reunion, especially when the couple are so romantically matched. A lovely princess and a gladiator. But unfortunately, reasons of state prevail over those of the heart, which means the end of your little romance. Now, will you marry me? Never. That's a pity. Tomorrow, I'd hope to announce our marriage. Bring the irons. Instead, however, there'll be another wonder. A unique spectacle to do honor to my coronation. The blind gladiator, which I think the court should find most entertaining. No! I see you've changed your mind. Yes. Yes, I'll do what you want. I'll marry you. On one condition. You spare Retius and Vibius. They are both gladiators, and therefore can be freed only in the arena. Tomorrow, if Retius fights bravely and succeeds in gaining the admiration of the crowd, it is quite possible that I shall grant him his life. Too solemn. After the coronation, we'll show ourselves in public and announce our forthcoming wedding. Get in here. Can you see anything? It's not another cell. It seems to be a passage. Are you sure? I saw it clearly. It stood by torches. This stone, let's move it. Time for your fight. Put on your armor. Just a little while more and we could have escaped. I'll go instead of you. You get out and try to free Itis and the rest of the prisoners. No. You go and release the others. Herberius will have planned certain death for me. And it's up to me to face it. It may easily be that death is waiting at the end of that corridor. I can defend myself in the arena, but it'll take all of your strength to get out of this prison. No. Goodbye and good luck. Wait. If one of us has to die today, will we let the old game decide for us?
are gathered outside the palace waiting for the new king. What if the people won't follow us without Retzius? Even without Retzius to lead us at this crucial moment, we must go ahead with our attempt. This is our last possible chance. May the gods protect us.
Vivius, my friend. It's strange, Aetius, but last night I didn't hear the owl hooting.
are storming the palace. They're fighting in the name of Darius. He's out there with them, alive. Alive? That's impossible. Even the slaves are rebelling. Well, get out there, all of you. Concentrate the guards around the palace. Promise them a thousand shekels for every rebel head they bring me. Protect him. His life is the most treasured of our possessions. Don't raise your hopes too high. This rebellion will be crushed before the sun goes down. You think so? 